What's up, guys? Welcome back. Alrighty, we've got we've got round six coming at you here right now. We got us ourselves another um, Broly versus uh, Search Q matchup. Um, I managed to go across all the tables. I got you guys some information. Um, so as of right now, the top one, two, so on, two, six. So I got you the top six uh, before I had to run back here. So basically, in that there's. Um, Three Hatchiac players, uh, two or three with these guys. So three Surge Coups. Um, so no, I guess it's top seven. Three Surge Coups, um, one baby. So a lot of you guys were thinking that there's going to be a lot of babies in here uh, in the top cut, uh, baby leader. But it's actually just one. And three Broly Surges, counting this guy right here. Um, two Surge Piccolos, one Beerus, and one Janemba. Janemba made it. There's always that one Janemba player that just sneaks his way in. But uh, let's get into this over here. We'll take a look at what exactly is going on here. They're just uh, shuffling each other's decks. Alrighty. Uh, oh, is that are those Chun Li sleeves? Wait a minute. Oh man, those are Chun Li sleeves. Gotta love it. You'll love to see it. Alrighty, this camera angle of rocks. I love that we have these. All right, he rolled. I can't tell. <laughs> and a one. I think he rolled a six and a one. I heard him go ah. Alrighty, now he's shuffling here. Can't wait to get this game underway. So it's going to be these guys were at table one. We decided to put table one on stream right now. Um. Search Piccolo. I'll definitely make sure that we put a Search Piccolo up on stream next. These gentlemen are both 5 0. Uh, we had 216 players, 216 players, uh, which is insane actually, considering this, the weather. Um, I think the registration online had. I think we were close to the cap. We were like five or ten away from the cap, and uh, which was two fifty-five or something like that. And uh, now, because of the the snowstorm, literally uh, th over twenty people or thirty people didn't show, couldn't show up, couldn't make it. It's uh, very sad. But Mother Nature beats all. Mother Ma Mother Nature breaks all boards. Dane is 5-0. Oh. No, don't put it on. No. Let's get through this. And charges. This is different because I don't believe, I don't think we've seen, um, I don't think we've seen that 5 drop in this deck yet, the, the SS4 Goku. He's the first one to incorporate it, obviously considering he's at table 1. It's working for him just because it makes the surge turn just that much better, I think. Like, you get to draw three on top one, and then after that, you get to play a double strike, um, a triple strike, sorry, uh, 25k. Let's look at tops. Oh, look at this spice. This is very different from the last decks we played against. All right. So we're going to actually get to see some different gameplay. Is he playing hand control? No way he's playing the hand control variant. Uh, I'm just dreaming. Living on a pipe dream. But in his energy, though, he's got the starter deck, uh, the mini Kaioken Goku, the one that gets uh, dual attack, triple strike, but is just a baby form of that. He doesn't get to look at the opponent's hand. He just gets to swing hard. I'm not sure who the Beerus player was. I'm, I don't know his name. Um, I just uh, ran over with like a uh, paper and wrote down all the all the different leaders that were there being presented that were just in top tables. So he swung, got to draw. That's insane. Everything becomes a pseudo super combo with this leader. Especially early, it's so valuable. Oh, it's so good. Oh, he's going to rival. Straight for it, eh? Boom. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Judge. Okay. We're good. We're just, we just ended it there. Okay. A little bit 
back and forth. Robbie seems to be cool with it. No stress. Interesting. Didn't want to take that damage. I'm assuming it's because he knows that he'll get uh, he'll get hit pretty hard if he does. Typically, you want to stay at quite high life. If he can awaken a like up five life, that'd be insane because he still gets the th the five k up or the five drop uh, thirty k twenty five k that has triple strike up. Five drops on Goku. Awesome. I can write down the top tables. It's going pretty good here, I think. The uh, the ape gets played here. Because uh, Dane had played the Beerus, he did not get to uh, Vegeta the Cruel that, which again is probably the best card to stop uh, the Bardock, despite it giving him the draw. He still has to warp one, so technically he just negs one. And he taps something, but nah. Denial of Hope's obviously a really good option as well. It's all situational, though. <coughs> and see if he does anything here. He's going to swing with his leader, obviously. Just to see. Just to get that draw. Filter his hand. Go through the deck. question is, where is he attacking? Because the 20k Beerus, yeah. The Beerus can actually swing onto that ape and potentially kill it. If, uh... Robbie doesn't have the combo power, so Robbie kind of has to choose between the ape or taking a life. He's probably going to take the life and defend the ape. But if uh, if Dane finds something to be able to just kill the ape after, words anyways, then it'll be an insane plus for him. Alright, no, he passed his turn, yep. No, 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 yet. He just okay. I thought that little hand gesture there was in passing turn. I was like, all right, play that that pass. Interesting. Oh, and it was. Yep, he played. He passed turn. No, right. It's good. Let's take a look here. See what he has in hand. I love those Chun Li sleeves. Charges the Bardock. And swings with his leader. I think they know that the Bardock isn't the best card. I mean, like. It, it's a good card, but it's not the best card in this matchup just because v Vegeta the Cruel exists. And again, he has three energy up, so now he's definitely a target for Vegeta the Cruel. I'm going to swing. Draw two. And drop one right quick. Boom. Oh, wow, okay. I think that's a side deck card. Or maybe not. Maybe he can main it, actually. Yeah, he probably mains it just because it's not... It's not side deck. It's game one. Wow, I brain farted there for sure. But um, but no, that's more so a side deck card in my opinion. Like I guess, I guess baby plays it in main. Does baby play in main? No, he doesn't really play in the main. I don't know. I think it's just a good card in general, but it's just expensive. It's pricey. Well, granted, we don't know what he wants to do with this deck just yet because we don't have that. In, we don't know what his build is, the information. But it's it looks like just like a regular Beerus build to be honest and. Has a little bit more aggression and stuff like that. And yeah. Is he going to pass turn on four energy? Or, yeah, he passed turn on four energy. He's going to swing with his leader, get that draw, filter through his deck. It's going to be. Oh, let's see what he draws here. Alright, he's going to use this, search his deck, and get a lot of value here because he gets the draw card after he gets this. So he plus one off this attack. Pretty good. And slow and steady wins the race here. He's going to get to 20 eventually. Um, as we saw in our last matchup that we watched, it's not always the Sun, the, the Kaioken Goku that can win you it, but usually it's going to be the Kaioken that wins you it, just because if you manage to get it off, again, Deflect doesn't matter, so his those Frost Deadly Poison that uh, Robbie's playing, they, they're not really relevant in this matchup unless you want to hit something. I don't know. There's not really much else you want to hit, to be honest. I think even the other one has deflect. The mini 4-drop version of him, I think even that one has deflect. 
but Dane is very close to acquiring Exodia as well. He's got three, three out of four uh, pieces necessary in his energy already. One more Broly, and he'll have the four pieces of Exodia assembled in his energy zone. He's gonna see if we can see if he arrivals something here. Seems to be the mood. And he does not. A little back and forth here. And there's the combo. And there's the arrival. We're right. All right. Here we go. Took a little bit of time, but we got there. And the regular Beerus. What's he going to pop? Boom. Broly's dead now. Broly quite good in this matchup. In general, just controlling your opponent's hand, everything like that. Uh, I'm going to untap. And give the buff to his leader. Because his leader, uh, yeah, because he's being attacked right now. So that sense of being will go a long way in helping him fend off a few attacks. And he said, all right, I'll do it again. And now he's going to play another Beerus and nuke the other big card he had on his board. Wow. Strong turn. Strong turn. And now he has two Beeruses in place. So when he does choose to awaken, he's going to be able to net maximum value and um, play his five drop. Something that we couldn't see, we didn't see last game. With uh, that search coup player, he couldn't, or not that game, but uh, in the Beerus game we watched, um, every time he was denied the ability to uh, called to awaken, play the five drop through a triple strike Sun Goku, and pop off with that. But hopefully, this looks like it's going to be the turn, turn f five. Yes, because he won the guy, the die roll. He's a chomp in hand. I don't know if he wants to charge the. Uh, unless he has another one, sure, but. Chompas are just so good at this, it's like so good and so crucial at this point in the game. Being able to just hit your opponent that hard for that much damage is huge. But, oh, there you go. Super combos, draws two, oh, amazing. The Man, this this leader honestly just broke the Chi Chi. The Chi Chi is now gonna let you draw two cards with the leader ability. So it's not only just a super combo, it's it's better than a super combo to draw two combo and if you co and that's the thing if you combo with a super combo then you get to draw two off a super combo so that's also quite insane mm -hmm. I think I would have maybe like attacked and maybe comboed a Bardock just so that I could bait out maybe the Vegeta the Cruel and then have him at one energy that way I could drop my uh, my five drop and just really try to kill him this turn because he's got he's got to push for a lot of damage Without the pan, honestly, the five drop Goku's a little bit lackluster. Being able to attack twice is kind of what makes him amazing. Either way, he's going to try to drop him to three here. Going to give him that bean, go up to 30, on top. So now this attacking for 30k. I think he's going to force the awaken here. So just to reiterate here, some of you guys are asking, um, at the the top tables are um, three Hachiak, um, three Surge surge Coups like we see on screen here, um, three Broly Surge like we see on screen here, one Baby, two Surge Piccolos, one Beerus, and one Janemba. That should be 12 decks, I believe. I didn't catch the last ones. They were not at their table yet, so I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't... Um, write down what they were playing. I had to get back here, obviously. But that's as stands right now. And uh, it's. I want you guys to know that the two Hatchiak players are also playing each other. One of those Hatchiak players is Peter. So <laughs> we'll see how Peter Katani does in that mirror match. I'm sure he's having a great time. And I'll be able to go watch by the time that this match is over as well. Because uh, those are going to go deep into time. 
Tap chooses not to attack with the other Beerus. I think he wants to keep it safe from uh, getting attacked to keep us tribute for the offering um, card. But it's quite good that uh, Dane didn't have to take any damage that turn. Very important, I think. And does he play into a topo here? What's the move? No, he does not. He's going to super, not super combo, but combo, leader ability draw, and he's just going to give him that extra push for damage. See his hand here. Hmm. What is that card? The six drop. I'm very unfamiliar with what that card is, but he's playing it. And he's got he's got a foo in hand as well. <coughs> so he's gonna pop two cards, I believe. Or no. He's gonna play that for two. Oh my god. So this is definitely his kill turn. He's get to he still gets to surge awaken on tap two, so he's not completely tapped out. And now he's got a lot of threats on board, and it looks like he's going to push for a lot of damage this turn. Um, if he does opt to take some life, he's going to give his uh, Kaioken Goku that's on board their double strike, and or triple strike, dual attack, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it double strike? It's dual attack, double strike, I think. Which is still very, very good, but not as intense as plus 25,000, triple strike, dual attack, look at your opponent's hand, discard something. That's a little bit better, I guess. Yes, the Hachiak mirrors, uh, they're actually both uh, XO, XO, O. So Peter just won all his games. They probably just hadn't run into any other Hachiak players. They're uh, most likely dreading their, their existence right now. Yeah, DeBoer is going to be pretty good. Hatch draw should end in minus four, <laughs> minus one for both players. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how uh, that's not how these tournaments operate. Uh. Whether or not I agree is uh, my own business. <laughs> Got a super combo here. He's gonna draw. Got a okay. Beast look like he's gonna arrival, and yes, he another Beerus. Wow. Oh my God. It's interesting. Often to choose to kill that one, but I guess that makes sense. No, we gotta get like an instant replay feature for that because we just nuked him. He's gonna sense to be in. I think this is all four sense to means he's played in the past two turns to be like, to 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 spam out more threats. He's got an ape in hand as well now, so he's gonna bring out the ape and just say your Kaioken's getting tapped. Oh wow, the Robbie's playing this amazingly. No, shout out to Robbie. He was on stream with me uh, the first game. He commentated with me, but now he chose to. Tap the trunks. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe he's trying to bait. Um, maybe he's trying to bait Dane into taking the life so that he can kill him back on the swim back. That might be what Robbie's doing. Hmm. I wonder. That'd be amazing if that's what he's doing. To be honest. The SR bro, yeah. Fucked yeah. up trunks. Wow. He's got so much aggression on board. He's got three Beeruses on board. And he's past turn, I believe. Oh no, he just played the, the, the ape. Obviously, uh, Dane doesn't have any responses. He is tapped out. So now it's just a question of whether or not Dane chooses to awaken right now. Because if he does, it'd be pretty important, I think. Because I feel like uh, tapped out at four life when your opponent has three Beeruses and a double strike monkey on board. Looking kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to nuke the board if he plays that card. Oh my god. No way. No way. This is awesome. Oh, is that the secret rare Janemba I see here? Janemba baby seeker rare. He's going to allow it, and then offering is going to proc, and he's going to choose whether or not he wants to either let him crit or draw two. He says, you can draw two, sir. I am not going to lose a life and go to three. And now, just like that, Dane is really behind. Oh, he can't negate. He doesn't have anything. Minus, maybe he has like an afterimage or something, but even at that, it's not worth it. 
it was a disaster. That's why I was saying he should have awakened maybe on his own turn. That way he would have energy open live and more cards in hand. But and then also the option to use his uh his surge abilities. Granted, now I'm sure that's what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna awaken first thing. And there it is, I think. Yep, there it is. Gonna draw two, put those cards underneath his leader. And try not to die. That's insane. The minus 30k, so he's minus 15 right now. So he's got a combo all the way up to 25 for minus 15. So he's got quite a way to go. Quite a way indeed. He's got to do, uh, if I'm not mistaken on my math, I think he has to do, well, he has to do 30, obviously, plus the 5. So he has to do 40k to get over this attack. He has to combo 40,000, which Broly can do, don't get me wrong. It's just he has four cards in hand. So it's probably not the dream he's got the four cards plus he's got the uh oh he's doing the same thing too no way he's got the he's got the the pissar gokus as well except he's oh he's got way too many one drops in hand oh man he's got a lot of uh a lot of one tap uh 10ks in hand with the uh dual color those guys but he's got the chichi as well he'll be able to draw and if he doesn't insta scoop it's going to be a little bit dragged out here he insta scoops yeah we got to save time as much as you can these guys uh that first one just took 20 minutes um but yeah that was that was intense man like the, the 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 baby drop i was not expecting at all i think these are two very very different decks than what we've seen uh, from what we saw last game um as far as the surge goes um they're almost completely different except for the well i mean uh, completely different rough no but they're they're very different in the sense that they both run the uh ss4 son goku for the awakening explosion and the fact that i think the fact that um robbie just played three beeruses I don't know what to say. That was. How do you come back from that? You just don't come back from that. I think. I think. You just move on, go to game two, and and because you get to go first now, you can play the game you want to play. Um, no, I don't think this discredits Broly at all. This win discredits Broly at all. The secret rage number. I don't think any of us were expecting it. That was insane. Um. Janemba is not is doing okay. I've seen a few at like in like top thirty two. There's like maybe at four at four four at most and one of them is in top eight right now but as as of right now i don't know if they're going to drop their game win their game <laughs> maybe we'll get a janemba on stream who knows the new janemba well not the new janemba red but janemba red with uh with topos in them are pretty cool i'm not gonna lie they look pretty neat Alrighty. So now we are siding up. Now we're siding out. Um, in this matchup, I'm not too sure what they would side in. I think uh, both decks kind of just want to go first and blow each other out of the water. Granted, um, if they play Topo, obviously Tau is a very good side deck card. Um, yeah, Tau. Tau is, Tau is a good card. It went a long way last game. It did a lot of work. Um, if you ask them uh, sorry just uh this here all right we're on our way for game two here hopefully uh hopefully we don't we don't have to leak into time like our last game and uh end in a draw that would be unfortunate but i feel like as we progress players well to the like higher tables the players typically tep uh, are better at uh time management and just play faster in general so we don't have to run into that issue as much well Janemba doing well Janemba not doing well just one well yeah I mean Janemba is still pretty good it's like tier 2 that's the thing we don't know with the search stuff I feel like we've only scratched the surface of what we can uh, build with the search stuff and I'm sure a bunch more insane decks are just going to come out um, not to mention all the buffs that the old decks are going to get I think uh are gonna go a long way. Who else here is excited for all those leaders that they're reworking that they they're slowly starting to announce? I'm gonna play that to set one Beerus until I don't play the game anymore. It's my ride or die. I love it. All right. So uh, Dane going first is gonna change a lot. I think it's going to get him to his kill turn before Robbie or. Rather kill turn. I think it's gonna just help him up the the ante. He'll be able to deny him his uh, his Broly's a lot easier because he'll have the 
Vegeta, the crew up. He'll have uh, the Dial of Hope up, obviously. So it's just it's just a passive game of we're just waiting to see who who messes up first. I think like the the matchup is so is so skill oriented that I think it's it's more so just like who's who's the first one to play a card when he wasn't supposed to and get punished for it and can he come back from it. He's still probably still mulliganing, but that's okay. We got time. He's got the Champa in hand, which is pretty crucial in beating uh, what's it called in beating the Kaioken Goku's when they come out. He's got throw back at the deck, rightfully so. He's really got to dig for that uh, multicolor energy. Because if you now and like now in these formats here, man, if you don't uh, if you don't start with a multicolor energy, you, s you just you're so behind. Considering now that all the decks have a have one that just come out comes out unrested, or all the main ones rather. Looks like well, I mean yeah, I'm sorry. I'm excited to see the uh, the Mechian one as well when we get it on stream next. It's going to be pretty intense. I think that deck is really really strong. It uh, its hand control is is insane. Four, six, eight, and we're on our way on round two. Game two, rather. Robbie took game one. If you're just tuning in, this is game two. He charges the SR Broly and he passes. Well, very good card to discard. Very good card to discard. I think that's his turn to play as opposed to playing a Goku Black just because he doesn't want to get hit with a Denial of Hope or a Vegeta. So, yeah. I mean, paying two to, to draw two is always pretty good. He's going to combo Chi-Chi, get his draw. He gets a draw two for free. And he combos. No combos. And that's his turn. play another Chi Chi. Well, the advantage you can generate off Chi Chi is actually insane. So now he's hypothetically drawn four cards off his Chi Chi and leader ability put together. So he's seen the four top four cards in his deck. All right, so he's going through it quite quick. I'd actually be interested in seeing how well this matches up against a deck like Janemba or something like that. Because if Janemba stays at four life, he can just leader negate uh, the Kaioken and then. Uh, take the life for the other triple strike and then survive everything else maybe so you're gonna pass and we're playing the draw pass game right now charge a Whis. he's got his multicolor he got it on turn three which is a little bit late I don't I think it's gonna affect the game a little bit um, Probably not too much. I think Robbie could have probably afforded to tap out last turn and just pay like pay two and draw. But now I think that's what he's gonna do this time. He's gonna untap everything. And he's going to pay two, remove the ape from his drop area, and uh, draw two. There it is. Interesting yeah, no, he kept his red blue up. I'm assuming he's playing a survivability cards probably has sensu beans robbie's been blessed by the sensu bean gods he's uh last the last game he managed to uh go off quite a bit with his sensu beans i think this is the case with every every event though um i think every time a new something new comes out it's very strong and does well in tournaments early just because people don't know how to play against it and so, by default, it does well. No, no discredit to like the players playing the deck. Obviously, these pl these people probably test played a lot online, um, but they typically like 
sn like snowball down afterwards or s either either they snowball and become insanely strong or the hype around them dies down because people learn how to beat them um honestly i'm just happy that baby isn't the meta defining car uh, deck anymore i think it was it was a bit this was a bit too strong in my opinion but graceful charity is graceful charity we saw a, our our uh the Demigra player from our first game today completely get through that board or get through the baby player. But don't underestimate me. Still do some insane things. Hmm. I think I saw a shocking death ball in his hand. He might have sighted that in. We didn't see it for in game one. Uh, probably an answer for maybe the Goku Blacks he plays or something. Just being able to clear that for such a cheap cost is really insane. He started to play some. He played the SR, playing the Beerus off the SR, or with the SR. So he has got a pretty big board. Like I said, Robbie's the Sensu Bean King. Sensu Bean's the two and takes the life. Now, if he has another combination attack in hand, that could be pretty huge. If he decides to combo anything, but he probably won't. And a Topo. Wow. Okay. No, oh, that's the turnover right then and there. <coughs> doesn't have denial of hope. Doesn't have anything to respond to it. The turn's just straight up done. And, yep, that's the beauty of Topo, man. That's why we say Topo's the best card in the game. And, yep, <coughs> minus 5k. Or minus 20k, sorry. He's just going to swing into it with the Broly, uh, with the Topo. And if his opponent doesn't have a negate, he does have the Shocking Death Ball. But at this point, I don't think it's worth saving. I think he just let it uh, die just because he's going to attack th attack it with the leader and attack it with that Vegeta he has on board. There's no there's no sense in leaving it alive. It's at 5k. And, yep, it's dead. He's going to swing now with, you know, he's going to swing with the Vegeta first. Okay, interesting. He's going to swing with the Vegeta first. Probably just going to say no combos, let him take a life, then swing again with the leader, pressure a little bit. Yeah, Chi Chi with Broly is quite insane. Uh, it's definitely a plus one. And Baby, like the, the Surge leaders, I think, uh, I think the Surge Awakening itself is very strong against Baby just because, you like you said, you get to, like I said, uh, you got, I get to draw three, I get to untap energy, like, or in this, in the Broly's case, I get to draw two, I get to untap energy. And uh, I get to filter my hand, basically, um, because I get to put two cards I don't want under my, my leader card. And then I could um, draw three brand new cards or two brand new cards. And then on top of that, I can use the cards I put underneath my leader to either completely turn off my opponent's kill turn or just really, really slow him down. But there's the Vegeta. This card we've been seeing all day, I think, in every single matchup today. We've seen it do its thing, except maybe the first Demigra matchup we had and the Hatchak one. But swinging now. Um, it's been such a, such a tournament-defining card, I'd say. It's been in almost every single deck. I've seen a lot of people play it. Um, there's a reason it's $55. Uh, it's because it's really, really strong. <laughs> it's one of the only cards that's that expensive. That's like leader specific. Like your leader, if it this says if your leader is red, reduce en energy by two, which you don't typically play it in a deck where your leader is not red. So it's kind of, kind of a really good card. Only kind of. Uh, it's smart that he comboed it away because the Bardock was gonna tap it anyways, and I'm pretty sure he predicted that. So kudos to Dane. Although, unfortunately, Bardock still comes into play. Now there's a double strike threat on board. He couldn't do the Krulum again. It's not his turn. Robbie's playing this very intelligently. He's making sure to Bardock on his own turn and not his opponent's uh, on his opponent's turn and not his own turn. That way, Vegeta the Krul is completely turned off. He's gonna swing here. Ten into the Topo. Do you have a response, sir? 
No, you do not. So he draws off the leader. It's good that he tagged with the leader first and not the ape, because now he's netting the draw at least. It would have been very sad if he if he did not. There we go. And it's probably going to be a pass, unless he plays maybe like a Goku Black or something. That'd be cool. Well, no, he doesn't have it. He's paying two. Two yellow. One yellow, one yellow. Hmm. What's he playing? Just to draw two. Yep. Those apes, man. I'm telling you, they're so good. On a turn where his turn got turned off, he still managed to draw four cards from his deck. With his leader, then the ape. I think uh, you save those apes off for the turns where you uh, you don't you get you get topoed basically. There you go. You see, he has the Dark Banisher food in hand. He could probably play it and get away with quite a bit if he does. Although it might get um, Frost Deadly poisoned. I think the play here is to just spam the board with your four drops. Get ready for that big kill turn. Because if Robbie manages to arrive a, a few more beer, like a, a few beers, is like last game. Even if he just gets two on board, it's going to be quite, quite impossible for him to, for him to deal with that. I think he's comboing the topo away again. So it's constant recurring theme. He's ref he's not attacking with battle cards. All he's doing is just swing with his leader. He's playing very very passively, which is very different to what he did last game. Last game he was letting himself get a big board, swinging with everything, and then uh, he did get nuked last time. So I'm I'm assuming he just he's he's learned he's learned his lesson. There's the arrival of Broly, so good. Does he have a response for the summon of the Broly, though? Because now if uh, if Robbie chooses to combo, it gets taken away from him, and it has to combo more. Yep, the apes are absolutely still strong. There's the super combo. He's going to draw. then he's going to draw again. Uh, yeah, Janemba's doing good because these guys typically mill themselves and if they want to draw cards, they have to, uh, for in search Coos case, he has to mill too. But in Broly, I think the matchup's actually pretty uh, tilted towards Broly just because um, Broly can just choose not to do anything and eventually he'll get those 20 cards in the drop area. So he can just play passively, swing, swing, not have to worry about too much. Put the the the, the jump at six, and even at six is very much kill range. So if he manages to get like to to play the Kaioken Goku at five life, he gets to rip four cards out of the hand. Probably they'll all be four negates, and then he won't have access to his later negate. He'll get hit from six to three. Won't be able to negate the second attack, and it'll just be game. Oh, big Aegis of Destruction here! Wow, that's insane. No way, I don't think we'd see this card today. I can give this card, if I'm not mistaken, 10k and double strike. And so it's another card to just pressure, but he did topo, so the turn is over. He's going to charge another Broly. Two Broly's away from obtaining Exodia and getting the four Broly's in energy. The Gogeta BR seemed to have to fall off. I don't think he was in top anymore. I think he lost his last match. And so, uh, unfortunately, he's gone. Uh, but granted, he could get back into it with uh, by winning this round. Then if he wins the next round after that, he'll probably top 8 or top 16 at the least. At the very least. Let's see what Dane chooses to do here. Banish a foo. Shotguns it. And Robbie's waiting in anticipation. He can't tap his mana fast enough. Gets to draw and does not untap one because he's not at 3 life. But he still has no, 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 he has no energy open. Yes, that's the correct play. So Dane now is going to focus on trying to kill the ape. Going to combo up to 30k. And if Robbie wants to keep his double striker on board, he does not, unfortunately. Going to swing into the leader. Giving Robbie a potentially an extra card. And he takes it. Pass his turn. Wow, that foo leaves the field, of course. I'm sure they'll catch it eventually. And wow, yeah, that was uh, supposed to be a big turn, but unfortunately, foo couldn't cut it. And that means that his uh, 
he's not playing the f the seven drop Son Goku uh, Kaioken because he doesn't have a drop area anymore. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not gonna lie because I don't think uh, Dane is gonna be able to pull this one out without that big kill card. I think that um, Robbie's doing too well of a job controlling the board. Um, and also, it doesn't hurt, help that Dane is constantly comboing away his combo pieces. His, uh, his uh, battle card, sorry. I think two decks that will never go out of style unless they make some sort of uh, card to specifically kill the deck is Janemba or Hatchiak. Just because Hatchiak is literally the depiction of uh, you can't go wide against me. And Janemba has an ultimate win con built into the leader. So, can't really argue that. He's going to swing there, kill the Topo. Dane doesn't seem to care about any of his battle cards. He just throws them to the fire as soon as he can. Which I'm sure is the reason he's probably got a kill card somewhere. He only has one card in hand. But he's being controlled a lot better than last game. Last game felt a lot more tight. Discards the Whis, and Robbie's got to start pushing now. His deck's getting kind of thin. And if Dane main um, side decked any uh, Janemba tech, he might be in trouble. <laughs> What's he gonna do here? Ops not to tap anything. He's gonna combo and combo. Here comes the Beerus. Here comes the Beerus. This is what we were afraid of. Oh. No, what a disaster. Now le Robbie's leader can, uh, Dane's leader cannot restand at the beginning of his next turn. Has to, and he did it again. This is exactly what we were worried about. Starting to look a little bit too far gone for Dane. I think Robbie even has a topo in hand. Yeah. Mm. He's comboing the secret Janemba. He doesn't need it this game to kill him. But he's getting rid of, yep, and he's going to do everything. Wow, okay, all in one go. Sequencing might have been trippy there, but uh, he did everything. He's drawing three. Untapped one. Offering is good. He draws two more, and he has, like, two cards in deck. I'm getting really stressed out right now. <laughs> if he dies to deck out, I'm going to be quite upset. Oh, he scooped it up. Wow. He had one card in hand. And he gave it double strike and gave it critical, and he was just going to go for game. He didn't have a negate. That's all she wrote. There you go. That's all she wrote. That's a quick 2-0 by Robbie. Um, they still have 20 minutes in the round. Wow, that was definitely fast. Like I said, like the the more you get into it, uh, the more the more high caliber players you're gonna get. So they typically don't play as slow. But uh, we'll be right back, and uh, we'll see you guys in what will be round seven. We will interview the winner in just a bit. All right. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are here with the winner, Robbie. Again, man. Hi. What's up guys? Welcome back for me, I guess. You were here, <laughs> yeah, you were here round one, you commentated with me and now you just showed everybody that you got game too, man. Uh, I got I mean it's a man, it's that's a game I've tested a bunch. I love it. Uh, mm -hmm. Brawly Surge is gonna be tier zero next set. Yeah. We're not there quite yet. Yeah. And so I, I feel like had he had those championship cards. I had no shot. Those those championship championship cards are insane. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I think about it, in all those games we were playing. Like, if you were watching it, if he didn't have that uh, uh, the four drop that he was arriving with, mm -hmm. and instead he was just playing a crit, <laughs> a critical who he could combo, like all the value. Good. I was very surprised that he wasn't playing the uh, seven drop Kaioken. You know, I don't think he can get to twenty that easily. Like, right. that seems really hard. Yeah, like, I it. tried it, but uh, like to play around with it on tap, yeah. I got to like nine to ten. Because you're not, like... You're not constantly, yeah. But everything, that the whole idea is that once a turn, you're, like, getting one in there because you get to draw with your leader. I get it. Like, yeah, it's 20 fair. is really high. 20 is really high. If you ran, like, uh, I think it's Popo. Uh, Topo? I'm not sure who it is. Uh, it's the green guy from... Uh, I should know his name. Um, it's a green... Uh, what does it do? 
it's uh puts burst three. Okay, yeah. You'd have to run that. Yeah. And it's just at that point, like you still lose to Chompa the Trickster. You do still lose to Chompa the Trickster. That's why I thought like I saw it in your hand and I saw you get rid of it and I was like, uh oh, he might have got rid of it and it was turned like six and I looked at the drop area and I'm like, There's eight cards in the drop area. I didn't even Yikes. yeah, I didn't even consider Kaioken. Yeah. I was more worried about like uh just just big overwhelm cards in general, just because he has that option. Yeah, to get, for bring sure. it in. It's hard to defend. Thank you, yeah. If he plays like if he arrives, he overwhelms. But well, well, you stayed at like five, six life the entire game. So it's hard because I've got to test this matchup on tap. Uh, thanks, Brian Samuel. Shout out to you. You're awesome. <laughs> um, but like. I get to see these decks a little bit. Like Untap is a great resource. Like yeah, I don't have time 100%. to. I haven't been 100%. to a local in a little bit. Like I don't have the time. Yeah, with Untap, you can kind of play with like uh, players that you feel more comfortable playing with, and like better players, people who you want to. And you can see the interactions. Exactly. Like Bean is a defensive card that you keep blowing. Like you, and then you keep just drawing cards. And as you saw, I didn't need to even awaken there. No. I was just gonna do it. I had mentioned it actually. I was like, this guy's the sensu bean king. He's just using yeah, them like crazy. Yeah. Well, you just you, you shouldn't. Like uh, it's a mistake to try to keep a bunch. I'm learning, and um, oh yeah, for sure. Just because you just blow it, use resources, make them. If you can extend your turn by using the bean, you should definitely. And those Goku, uh, the apes that I'm running, it's mm -hmm. basically free because now I can. Yeah. Uh, I really like to go turn four, play a topo, and then mm -hmm. my other two energy tap to you know um, get the draw two. Yeah. So then topo is just going to be free, and. I don't have to worry about it. He and topos you, and then you still have those that option, just tap two and draw two. That's yeah. what you did in the game. We, I mentioned it as well. It was uh, it was very well played on your part. I think you played around like his potential Vegeta, the cruel denials of hope, very very well as well. So I I respected him as a player. Like he's very good. Like if you saw his interactions, he's he at was, table. He's well, yeah, table but one, even right? that, like if like I'm a sloppy player, I can't argue with it. I'm trying to do zones. I do the best I can. Mm. That guy, perfect plays. Everything is the right sequencing. Yeah. Very good player. So I respect that. I'm not going to be able to beat him with a big boss monster exactly. and just go all in. Exactly. I have to. I think the meta's moved very far away from that, though. That's the thing. Exactly. Well, all the ends. other people, I would go like, "Hey, smash this creature. Let's just kill you with a double striker." Mm. With him, I wanted to wait till he had like four cards in hand and start being like. Would you say you have to be a lot more as uh, with every round that passes? Do you think that you have to be a lot more careful um, in your play style? So I, it's an evolving thing, like. Um, we played last night. Like, I was on a whole nother list. I ran a lot more blue yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then we were testing it out, and I never could kill anyone. Like, I tried so hard. Like, I'd be like... You just couldn't get that extra I, push? I could always get them to one. I could get them to two, and I never killed anyone. Like, it felt like they would kill themselves eventually. Yeah. And so we took out the blue cards because they weren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. And we upped the red-yellow cards because they're just so overbearing. If you had to redo it, would you keep combination attack in your deck? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that mm -hmm. card uh, is actually how I beat Colin in round four. Okay. Because he went in with Heartfelt Plea. And he, yeah, you got him with it. Well, it's like not a big attack or anything, but he like, so just, just to like, it was his only character on the board. Mm. So he was just like 30K and I'm at three life. He knew he shouldn't combo because there's no reason to at that oh, point. Yeah. He's only got three cards in hand. Exactly. But he I only had four cards in hand to be like, do it. So he had to tap all his energy mm. to then replay it. And then I chop at the trickster to it. So, like, it lets you set up other plays. Exactly, yeah. And it's more so for Baby. Like, I know Baby, it's hard because I respect the Baby players that still play it. Like, I know Justin Rios was playing it. He's There's one at top top tables right now. Yeah, his Good build's one. pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually excited to play him next round. Okay. Because he's an overrealm, like, guru. Okay. He's not <laughs> actually the Baby chain. He's just discarding a ton of cards from the, the one-drop Baby with the Dr. Mew. Yeah. And then he'll overrealm. And then... He'll also play the green Beerus, so he can keep just summoning stuff. Just keep spamming, yeah. He's putting everyone to three to four life on turns one and two. Jesus. And then he still has his dual, like, he, he still has seven life. So you think it's going to be the next breakout build for Baby? No, I think, I think, I think you evolve as time goes on for, like, you can make something and know it's going to do well for one event. I wouldn't take uh, I see. I see his Baby deck to the Invitational because people are... People have seen it. They know. And they, they're realizing, okay, Nimbus isn't the right answer. It's more of a rival cards. Mm -hmm. Like, that's kind of where we're at. Mm -hmm. And that's why the people are always like, oh, you must be good. Or, you know, yeah. people say a lot of nice things to me. I appreciate them. That's good. But when it comes down to it, this is a format that I can do well in because I'm not good at negating. I'm good at arriving or, like, fighting. Arrivals and counterplays and stuff. Because yeah. right now, even the chat was saying it's counterplay format. Exactly. That's what it is. And so as long as we're here... I'm, I can survive. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Thank you so much for coming on stream again. Bye, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys Good at the luck. Invitational next week. Take care, guys.